I was only 17 years old in 1969 when my mother, the late um, Ambassador Alicia M. L. Cosetel, uh, set up the Liban Educational Foundation Incorporated. I remember at that time, um, it was Mrs. Felisa Generoso that um, became our first principal. She was then just uh, retired as the principal of UP Elementary School. Then my mom looked for other friends, Dr. E. Maria Sapelo, uh, Mr. I.P. Soyonko, who was also a co-columnist at the uh, Manila Chronicle. And um, so they decided to uh, put up the school. And, you know, in the beginning, I didn't even like to come to the school because there were a lot of flies. Why flies? Because this area used to be just a dump site. And Diliman was just a bungalow with, what, 10, maybe few rooms. And um, we had a canteen, classrooms, and the office of the principal and the office of the president was just like a, a little section, you know, at the front of the building. And it was very dusty. But um, this bungalow eventually grew to be the big complex that it is today, through the energy, the leadership, the determination, the hard work, and sweat and tears of all the rest who came before us. These were our founding mothers. Um, I remember very well, vividly, how the Liman Preparatory School started growing towards Commonwealth Avenue. And, um, the parking uh, space disappeared. The little walkway made out of um, just GI sheets disappeared because eventually we found ourselves just smack along Commonwealth Avenue. There were also many pleasant memories because we did not set up the school all at once. You know, it was it grew from one building to another building, from two stories to four stories, etc. And it started expanding backwards. So to most people, we were just the same as today as we were before until they go into the go through the gates and realize, oops, tatlo na pala yung swimming pool dun sa likod, dalawa na pala yung gym, may high school building na pala. So it's really a matter of being able to understand what kind of efforts went into the building of the Liban Protocol School as we know it today. So um, at that time, as I mentioned, Mrs. Generoso, Dr. Ian Reyes Apelo, who was my nina, my mother, uh, some of my aunts, Silvia Orozco, Tichi Lopez Marquez, um, many others. I remember um, there was also Dean um, Feliciano, who was the Dean of the Graduate School of um, Mass Communications in UP. They were all part and parcel of this. We had also um, other shareholders that eventually um, joined us, um, those like um, Dr. Pusi and uh, I remember Puring and Bertie Seta and many others. So it was really, you know, chaga and sipag and sacrifices and really, really trying to um, tighten our purse strings you know, that, that led to this, this entire institution that it is today. So um, on our 40th year, I probably am one of the newest comers <laughs> or the late comers. I joined the team only in uh, 2007. But um, I think that we've really gone a long way. And we have more than 18,000 alumni that have gone through the corridors of Billiman Prep from its inception in 1969 to the present. And they're all in, uh, in they're all very successful in their career. They were able to uh, 
graduates from universities here and abroad, put up their own businesses, put up their own practices, and I know that every year with the list of uh, licensure exams is um, is um, issued, there's always somebody from the Department of Foreign School at some point in time who are in the top notch uh, sector of the licensure examinees that passed. And we're very proud of our alumni. We're very proud of the parents of our alumni that really made, were the ones who made the decision to send their kids to Dilema Prep. So um, we wish everyone all the best. And the kind of effort that we're still putting into Dilema Prep School today, and the kind of dedication of our faculty, non-academic personnel, the support and the cooperation of our shareholders, All of these matter very much to us, and it only goes to show that we're here, dedicated more than ever, and committed more than ever, to live up to the standards that were set by our foremothers. That wasn't an easy job, and uh, it's even more difficult today for us because of so much competition. Just look around us. We have more than 75 schools competing with Giliman Preparatory School. And because we're here, standing tall and standing steadfast, we owe it all to you, the Diliman Preparatory School Party. Ambassador Cosetén served as ambassador to Mexico and Central America in 2000, whose jurisdictions included Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, Panama, and Belize. She completed her graduate studies with Masters of Art in English and Communication from Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, and Stanford University in California, respectively. Ambassador Cosetén was primarily a professor at the University of the Philippines College of Mass Communication from 1958 to 1979. During this time, she was also involved with the media as a freelance writer and columnist for the Manila Chronicle newspaper and magazine, Manila Times, the Manila Daily Bulletin, and Wiki Graphics. She had authored several publications on art and architecture, art criticism, and mass media. Her leading book, Spanish Churches in the Philippines, was the first book that compiled, cataloged, and deepened our understanding and appreciation of the Spanish and local influences that led to the creation of these historic landmarks. Ambassador Cosateng also served as Philippine Secretary to the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, in the 1970s. Not only was Ambassador Cosateng an educator, a writer, art critic, and author, she was also chairman and director of several companies and training institutions. Her unwavering belief and love for the Philippines, its people, culture, history, and future was the driving force of all her endeavors throughout her life. Before Professor Maamko became the chairperson of the Board of Directors of Diliman Educational Corporation, she served as a professor in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. She was the last Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences and eventually became the Dean of the Department of Sociology in the same university. Professor Maamko dedicated herself in ensuring the academic excellence of Diliman Preparatory School through the development of academic programs and teacher trainings that inspired students and made a big in impact on how students perceived education and how they value education and became 
lifelong learners and cultivated in them the passion of lifelong learning. Professor Ophelia Arang Anko became the Vice President of Diliman Preparatory School in 1994 to 2012. She established programs for the high school department which enhanced their abilities in the areas of science, math, and the English language. She focused on the high school curriculum and to this day has been the hallmark and the main pillar of the success of DPS. She has five children. The eldest is a famous lawyer, attorney Raul Ang Anko, who worked in the big firm. Her second son, engineer Rafael Lope Ang Anko, was a professor in the College of Engineering at the University of the Philippines in Diliman and is now the current chairman of the board of directors of Diliman Educational Corporation. This shows that Professor Ophelia Ang Anko raised her children very well. After 18 years of retirement, she is still an inspiration to many students and teachers. She is the epitome of a passionate teacher who is a great advocate for high-quality education. She even personally visits classrooms to observe teachers and students interact during classes. She certainly symbolizes that one is never too old to stop learning. In December 2013, the DEC community honored Professor Maanko in a tribute that cited her exemplary commitment, dedication, and service as an overall academic consultant and chairman emeritus of the Liman Educational Corporation. She was also lauded for sharing her gift of self with an enduring passion for excellence in education to develop and maintain the standards of the Liman Preparatory School. Well, I started here after I, I, I resigned from or retired from Philippine National Bank. And uh, the treasurer then was uh, Dr. Epelo. And she wanted to retire to from here or to resign from the school. So Mrs. Cosette asked me if I want to join as a treasurer. Since I had nothing to do, I was um, in the I took my early day retirement from Philippine National Bank, so I decided to join, and that was in 1990. That was the time when uh, Mrs. Cosetang was thinking of putting up a high school building. Uh, then it was just uh, a small school, just from grade one to grade six, and we had very few enrollees. But this was already after the death of my mother, who was the first principal of the school when they set it up in 1969. I know the real, the real reason why Mrs. Cosette wanted to, to set up a basic school was mainly for the, her children and my mom's uh, grandchildren to be able to enter a good basic school because at that time, uh, you know, the University of the Philippines Integrated School were very strict about accepting uh, new, new pupils, even though my mom was already worked for PNB since the pre-war. She was the first principal of also of UP Elementary and also Mrs. Um, um, Alicia was it, and had children also that she wanted to enroll at the UP grades elementary school but unable to do so. So Mrs. Cosetting decided to put up a school mainly to be able to enroll uh, the founder's uh, children and grandchildren. And that was just a very small school. No? The first was of course 45, 45 bands. Pupils lang, ano? And our, uh, and we had uh, founding uh, teachers, and most, of course, most of them left now. <laughs> they retired. So now I'm here again. I was treasurer, as I told you, I was, um, was taken by Mrs. Cosette in 1990, and I was here as a treasurer till. Uh, 2005, but then I was president for one year only. And in, uh, in 2006, um, the presidency was taken over by Senator Cosette. But then, 
Last year, 2013, I was again asked if I would like to be its treasurer again. And so here I am, an its treasurer of the school. And uh, we would like to put a stop in, but maybe this one reason that we're having this uh, video is to encourage uh, more people to come and uh, enroll their children because it's a very good school. It's, it has been here for 45 years and uh, we've had very excellent uh, alumni that we can say proudly and that uh, if they stay here, they uh, will really have the best quality education. It's a wonderful day uh, for the Liman Preparatory School. Itong ating uh, 45th uh, anniversary. And uh, really, as I uh, pass through the Liman uh, School uh, every day when I go to Congress, uh, and even before when I was a, an official of Castle City, uh, I have watched it, I have seen it, I've seen it grow, I have been inside actually. I have. Uh, uh, I have been a guest inside the school and uh, uh, I have seen its records and I'm really uh, tremendously impressed uh, with uh, what a fine school, Diliman Preparatory School is. Not more this a school but uh, uh, Senator Cosa, I think's uh, mother started and it was uh, the pet project of her mother and, uh, and when Nikki took over, uh, she lived up to the expectations of her mother and even exceeded it. By, by making uh, uh, Diliman Preparatory School a really outstanding school. Dito, bilang sa academics, sa, uh, sa deport, deportment ng mga estudyante, because they also have a fine reputation for that. But uh, she has expanded to sports. No? And uh, really, pagka nag-aral ka rin, nag-graduate ka rin, you're uh, virtually sure of uh, being admitted to the top universities in our country. And uh, on this 45th day, uh, I know that Nikki is uh, uh, looking at the new challenges, uh, uh, the expansion of these schools and, uh, and, uh, and other things that, uh, that, uh, that she would want done. Uh, I wish her all the success. I wish all the students success, the administration, uh, and happy anniversary sa inyo. Binabati ko ang uh, Diliman Preparatory School sa kanilang uh, 45th uh, anniversary. Isang mong malaking karangalan po para sa Lungsud Quezon na meron po sa tayong tanyag na uh, eskwelahan o paralan na nagbigay po ng dunong katalinuhan at napakarami pong graduates sa atin. Isa po ang uh, Diliman Preparatory School sa tunay na nagbibigay ng mura pero de kalidad na paaralan dito po. Hindi lamang po sa Lungsud Quezon, kung hindi sa buong Pilipinas. Kaya po yung mga may-ari po, si Senator Nikki Coseteng at yung kanyang pamilya po ay malaking tulong ang naibigay po nila sa taong bayan. So sa ngalan po ng Congressional District of Quezon City, sa ngalan po ng District 2, no, kami po inuulit po namin ang aming tauspusong pagbati, tauspusong pasasalamat po sa, sa pamilya ng Coseteng at sa mga namumuno, teachers, faculty, administrative staff, ng Diliman uh, Preparatory School para sa kanilang 45th anniversary. Naway humaba pa ang uh, buhay ng paralan nito sapagkat tunay po ito nakakatulong sa mga may hirap po nating kababayan na nagbibigay po ng dekalidad na edukasyon para sa atin. Congratulations! English proficiency has been one of the trademarks of our Diliman Preparatory School students. And um, we also are in partnership with EduLinx Incorporated for this program. In the years that it has been um, offered at Diliman Prep, we have seen how rapidly the students speak um, English like a native English speaker. And also, this program introduces the students to many reading materials, many exercises, and we hope that in the future, indeed, English proficiency becomes one of the quality top assets of our students. When I started with Didiman Education Corporation in 2004, 
Dilmat Computer Technology Institute or DCTI, the post-secondary arm of DEC, was offering two-year courses and short-term courses, mostly TESLA courses. Now, 10 years later, we are now offering degrees in education, business management, and information technology. The school has come a long way since then. The growth can also be seen in DPS or the Lamont Preparatory School in terms of its facilities, programs, teaching philosophies, and learning environment. In the past 10 years, we are proud to have maintained our academic excellence and our ability to develop students holistically. The learning and teaching philosophy of the Lamont Education Corporation, which comprises of the Lamont Preparatory School, and Diliman College is that of a whole brain learning system. This learning philosophy develops students holistically, both academically, socially, and morally. What makes Diliman Preparatory School stand above other institutions is its stream program for high school. Most recently, we added tourism, which is a culture and arts program for students. This is one of our programs for our Career Academy, wherein students are given real-life experience and theoretical knowledge on the tourism industry. We are the first school in the Philippines to offer a tourism program for high school students. This tourism program is part of our STREAM program, which gives students practical knowledge and theoretical knowledge on how the industry works. The strategic partnership between DPS and ATOM has allowed us to develop a program that is relevant to the industry, that is practical, that is, and that is timely. Many schools have looked into this program, wanting to adapt something similar in their own respective high schools. Dilman Preparatory School is celebrating its 45th anniversary this year, and will soon be celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2020. Education or running a school is not merely business. There are many challenges that we are going to be facing as an institution. Changes in the educational landscape, changes in student needs, changes in technology all affect how we deliver education and what we teach our students. I believe that DPS will continue to be able to set the standards as it has set the standards for the past 45 years. In its belief that students come first and that education is an integral part of nation growth. To DPS, I wish you a happy 45th anniversary and with many, many more anniversaries to come. I'd like to greet the Diliman Preparatory School a happy 45th anniversary and I'd like to congratulate Senator Nikki Constantin for doing such a good job. The wants and the needs become bigger as they grow older. Mas marami silang hihingin, mas marami silang in establishing the school. Uh, the school itself and Senator Kosateng is basically engaged in a very noble vocation which is building a better future for people, especially the young people. Also building a better future for the country. If the young people are doing well, then the country where they are in will necessarily be doing well also. And I believe that the education that are being given to the young people are something that is priceless and nobody can take it away from them. Uh, no matter what happened, they can have something to fall back on to make a better future. So congratulations again to everyone in the Liban Preparatory School and especially to Senator Nikki Kosate. We started a healthy lifestyle program in Diliman Preparatory School 
and we're very fortunate to be the first school in the entire country that is in partnership with the Department of Health. The recognition of the Department of Health under Secretary Enrique Ona makes us feel very proud and um, that um, whatever we started is recognized by the DOH. Also, we'd like to thank other foundations like the First Pacific um, Foundation as well as the Metrobank Foundation for recognizing this, these efforts for a healthy lifestyle. Um, of course, it is not without pain or it is not without lessening our gain. We all very, know very well that soft drinks and um, snack foods, sugar drinks and um, reserved foods have always been part of the Filipinos diet. And so it is really because of the support of our parents and our faculty that we managed to cut out completely soft drinks, sugar drinks, junk food, snack foods, and, and um, oily foods, salt, too much sugar, and MSG in the diet of our students. I also thank our shareholders for understanding that we're not going to be able to give as much dividends. Why? Because healthy lifestyle and living healthy has also caused us a lot of financial um, sacrifices. In the beginning, we didn't think it was going to be like that. But we are giving up almost 400 to 500,000 pesos every month in terms of profits. But I think the Billiman Prep School family would rather see their children healthy and the, the uh, dangers of uh, oily, salty, too sweet, and starchy foods, you know, would not be uh, visible in their children in later years. So again, we look forward to a more successful healthy lifestyle program. Of course, it goes without saying that we'd like the support of the entire Diliman Prep School family as well in our search or in our quest for so-called fundraising activities to augment whatever we need to continue delivering quality education. I say this with all candidness on our 45th year. Why? We've stayed on this long and continue to improve our academic programs, continue to improve offerings like space science is now part of our program, um, robotics, English proficiency. We now have a SPED, an opening for SPED education. And all of this we did with your support, even as we continue to sacrifice incomes. We have not even increased our tuition fees that much. We have not maintained you know, um, the tuition fee increases of other private schools, in spite of the fact that our offerings are so much more than what other schools are offering. But all of this is in line with our interest, intention, our goal to make our students 21st century ready. And we know that although we all came from the 20th century system of education, our kids are going to be leaders in their own life. They're going to be respectable citizens in their own life. And the foundation that we have contributed to their success, we will maintain throughout the years ahead. During the time of uh, the late ambassador to Mexico, Professor Alicia M. Alcacetén, there were clamors from parents to put up a high school department because they could not think of where to enroll their children after graduating from Diliman Preparatory School, finishing their elementary education. And so, Professor Aris Casate decided to put up the high school department in 1992. The high school department did not undergo any transition period because when we opened the first grade level, we already have five sections, each one with 50 students. 
But we are very proud to say that the high school department has been producing student achievers. We have lots of World Cup matches and our fourth year honors class would always qualify to enter the University of the Philippines. They become loudest and uh, even the regular students are able to enter the course of their choice in the university also of their choice. As we achieve by enriching our curriculum, improving our physical facilities, providing the teachers and the students with uh, innovative instructional resources, and of course by providing our teachers with the needed faculty development training program. The high school department has required subjects to be taken by all students per level and also we are very known with our career stream program wherein students would choose the course of their choice whether they want to go to the medical field, engineering, law, culinary, tourism, and multimedia. Likewise, the Liman Preparatory School has strengthened also the sports program. And we've been producing a lot of champions in the field of Taekwondo, basketball, volleyball, table tennis, and chess. On behalf of uh, our group chairman, Dr. George SKT, the Metrobank Foundation and the GT Metro Foundation, we would like to congratulate the Diliman Preparatory School on its 45th anniversary celebration. We are very privileged to be working with the Diliman Preparatory School uh, in our own promotion of healthy lifestyles. We have heard so much about the DPS and its Healthy Schools Advocacy and we have been happy to welcome uh, the President, Senator uh, uh, Nikki Kositeng, who has been a good friend of the Metrobank Group during our last uh, Doña Titana Memorial Lecture. We are elated and inspired by her continuing advocacy in really bringing in, in our schools uh, uh, healthy eating habits which we want to develop for our students. I also would like to congratulate the milestone recognition by the Department of Health for the DPS. I pray therefore that uh, uh, Senator Kositeng the administrators, the faculty, and the students of the Diliman Preparatory School to continue in their quest to be the trailblazer in this very important endeavor. Happy anniversary once again. Space Science is one of our newest, latest offerings, and we thank Dr. Rogel Marie Cesar of UP Los Banos for um, coming over to Diliman Preparatory School and introducing space science to our school children starting from kindergarten all the way to fourth year high school. Our faculty has also been very, very uh, cooperative and has learned a lot in uh, teaching science. So we make science more exciting, more interesting, and we can see the the kids are now enjoying the sciences and mathematics. And this is one of the revolutionary um, courses or offerings that we have because previous to this, no one was offering space science in those levels from preschool to high school. And we're very proud that Philemon Preparatory School is the first and only school in the entire Southeast Asia 
that is offering this in this manner. So to all our parents who have supported their children in this program, we hope that you continue to do so in the years to come. And you cannot imagine the world that can be open to these children who are in the space science program. The robotics program is not even uh, six years old, and yet we have already produced champions and finalists in the robotics competitions that are held nationwide. As a matter of fact, three of our students are eligible to compete in Sochi, Russia this year. And we hope that they will do very well in that competition, the World uh, Robotics Competition to be I'm uh, Ces Casilag and uh, I'm the mother of uh, Lorenzo Franco Casilag. He is in grade 2, section Matatag. And uh, Franco has been a consistent honor student. Uh, I would say this had a very positive in impact on uh, my son. Well, first of all, uh, it helped a lot in uh, developing his interest in math. And uh, with, with the, the help of the school, with the help of uh, his coaches, their coaches, uh, their coach, and of course, uh, with the support of the school, they uh, went through the elimination, the elimination round, and then on to the division finals, and then the area finals, the sectoral finals, and eventually to the national capital region competition the ncr finals and um, we're very thankful to the school also for its other programs last year he also participated in the math enrichment program so he enrolled in the math enrichment program and once again uh, it is it was because or is because of his love for math that he he himself uh, asked me and uh, his papa about it and he asked if he could join it. So we enrolled him in that program. And so we also thank the school for making these programs available to its students, the uh, intervention programs and the enrichment programs for uh, the more skilled uh, students. So we look forward to uh, more experiences and we know that enrolling him in a good school like the Diliman Preparatory School will help him get into a, a good high school, maybe also in Diliman Preparatory School, and eventually getting him into a good college or university. So we believe in providing the best foundation for our son, Franco. Thank you. Happy 45th anniversary to Diliman Preparatory School. I'm Carol C., uh, one of the mothers of our SPED students, si Anthony Bryan C. Uh, what can I say for the school? Uh, it, it has really helped my son a lot because he's really a jolly good fellow. So right now, the school is preparing him to be very independent. And so far, I think uh, na achieve naman ng school yung mga gusto ko. And I can see it in my son's face na he's very happy and always eager to go to school. 
and it makes me happy pagka ganyan siya. And then when it comes to skills, and dami mga improvement improvements sa skills like uh, he goes to the canteen by himself, he orders his food, and then pagdating sa mga motor skills, well, he's quite big na rin, 32, so more or less, hindi na masyadong mahirap sa motor skills. But basically, yung enjoyment niya in school, and then yung vo vocal niya, nag-improve a lot. So vocalization, maganda na siya. He's able to express what he wants and what his needs are. So I'm very thankful to Teacher Faith and Teacher Cha and hoping for the best for my son and also for Bradley, yung classmate niya. And kudos for, ano, for Diliman Preparatory School. Hello everyone, this is Ernel of Journey and I just want to greet DPS. Happy, happy 45th anniversary. I like it so much here and uh, my, uh, my son uh, studies here. It's because of the quality of education that they are providing in here. And I'm uh, wishing DPS that it will continue on serving the highest quality of education to all the, the children here. Congratulations to the 45th founding anniversary of Diliman Preparatory School, headed by my good friend, longtime friend, Senator Miki Cosete. Your hard work, patience, innovation, and determination to make Diliman School a world-class org school is starting to pay off. Recent years, the students have shown competitiveness in not only academic excellence, but also in sports like swimming and basketball. I know that under your leadership, you will continue to inspire your management, your teacher and your students to make this school one of the best in the Philippines. Congratulations and more power. Diliman Preparatory School has always um, put sports in, in, the top, in a top um, priority list. And we have seen how students have improved in academics because of their involvement in sports. We now are credited with championships in basketball, swimming, and taekwondo, both in national and international competitions. And we will always be supportive of our students' achievements in sports as well as in academics. Our students are given the opportunity to compete overseas after they've done um, national competitions and show excellent feet. And we are very grateful for the uh, recognition that our students have received because there's really no other way in sports except to excel. And winning has become second nature to our Diliman Preparatory School athletes. Congratulations. Hi, uh... I'm Coach Renzi Bahar, uh, Athletic uh, Sports Coordinator and the Head Coach of DPS High School Basketball Team and Diliman College Basketball Team. Uh, nung nahir ako, sinali ko lahat yung high school team natin into a big, tour big leagues, big tournament, such as PAYA, Philippine uh, Athletic Youth Association, member dyan yung Ateneo, La Salle uh, National University, NU, Claret, and uh, etc. So then after that, we enter in the Philippine uh, uh, Private School Basketball League, which is we are the champion from uh, 2012 up to 2013. So, champion tayo dyan. So, ano ang uh, kasali dyan is uh, San Beda. Almost di, uh, lagi silang champion dyan. But luckily, when 2012 and 2013, nabit natin yung champion, his, championship history nila. So, tayo naging champion for that year. Sa tingin ko is napakalaking achievement yun because ano ang mga kasaling schools dyan. is also member from UAAP and uh, NCAA basketball team. So for our first year for our first year as having a strong uh, strong team and for our uh, two years the basketball program sa Diliman College is uh, nakikita natin yung bunga yung progress. 
So from here, that's why we are starting. So yung pinaghirapan natin for two years, eto na nga, nagbunga na. So sana magtuloy-tuloy itong bumunga at mas lalong lumaki ng lumaki. At the same time, mas lalong makilala yung ating college. So Dilimang College and our high school, yung Dilimang Preparatory School. And lahat naman ito is uh, we bring back the glory to God. At the same time, because of this, um, so, sa support ni our President, Senator Niki Prositeng, I would like to thank personally to her because kung wala siya is hindi rin namin ito uh, hindi rin naman namin ito makakamit. Hindi na rin namin ito makakamtak. So, and, and, and uh, before, before that, before I end, and we have also others to, uh, other tournament, not only in the Philippines. Bago ako makalimutan, nag-compete din tayo outside the Philippines because of the support of our President, Senator Nikito Sito. We played in uh, Indonesia, we played in uh, Taiwan for the Asian University Basketball. Uh, kasali dyan yung China, Korea, uh, Taiwan, uh, Japan, and other countries in Asia. So, may ang laking exper experience, ang laking exposure para sa school natin yan. Yung sa Indonesia, nakalaban natin dyan yung mga uh, uh, local teams ng Indonesia, collegiate din yan. So, sa, and thirdly, nag-compete din tayo sa Guam, USA, which is Two years na nagcha-champion tayo for the Thanksgiving Basketball Tournament sa Guam, USA. So, lahat ng ito, kumbaga, lahat ito is from our hard work, for our dedication, for our teamwork. At the same time, yung support din ni Senator Nigi Positeng for our sports program. So, thank you very much and uh, lahat ng ito is uh, binibalik, binabalik namin. Sa and especially sa blessing and uh, na binibigay sa amin ng our almighty God. So we bring back the glory to Him. Thank you very much. Ako po ay nagtuturo sa Daliman Prep for 20 years already. Um, the yung contributions ng Taekwondo in Daliman Prep, um, it has already um, contributed, it's a major contributor sa national team. It is also a um, consistent national champion in um, Philippine Taekwondo Association and DepEd uh, organized Taekwondo tournaments. Uh, as of now, one of our latest achievements is that um, five players from our team qualified as the member of the RP team. Uh, next tournaments for next year is the PAYA, uh, which will be held in Ateneo, the Carlos Palanca Jr., which is um, qualifying uh, event also para sa mga national team aspirants. Then um, para naman sa international we're going to have the ASEAN Taekwondo Junior and Cadet Championships that will be held in China and um, the World Cadet Championships that will be held in um, Korea. Aside from Amber Acosta uh, who is a present member of the national team uh, among the members now also with her is um, Jenica De Laza, Jera Alombro, uh, Budet Gerlan, and Bea Gerlan. Uh, among our products also are Chapo Lizardo, who is now who is the Milo icon and as well as the um, uh, now the team captain of the Philippine team. The um, way back 90s, sila yung Valenzuela brothers. Si Chariza Olombro, of course, who is a brother of Jer Alombro, and a lot more who became a member of the RP uh, Taekwondo team. Happy 45th anniversary, Diliman Preparatory School. Uh, Nag-start ako dito, uh, grade 2. And then, dito na rin ako nag-graduate noong 2003. And then, uh, dito ako nag-start na maglaro ng mga sports like basketball, and Taekwondo. So, naging part din ako ng varsity team ng basketball and Taekwondo hanggang sa, yun na, uh, nagtuloy-tuloy na ako sa Taekwondo. Hanggang sa naging Filipin team na ako, 
Uh, Siyempre, hindi ko nakakalimutan kung saan ako nanggaling at kung saan ako nag-start ng Taekwondo dito sa Diliman Preparatory School. Sa mga incoming Taekwondo players natin dito sa Diliman Prep School, uh, mag-training lang kayo mabuti and i-enjoy nyo lang kung ano yung ginagawa ninyo. Pero, siyempre, huwag nyo rin kakalimutan yung pag-aaral ninyo. So, kailangan balance yung dalawa na yun. I started at Diliman Prep in 1991. I was still single then. Uh, honestly, I applied as a high school teacher. So, there was none. I was assigned in grade 5. I was really surprised that my grade 5 students were my high school students back when I was teaching in public school. So, from then, I knew that Diliman Prep has high standards in terms of quality, in terms of providing education to, to the youth. Okay. I heard that they would like to put up the high school department. So after a year of teaching in elementary, they put up the high school department. But I stayed in grade 5 for two years. After that, in 1993, I became part of the high school department up to 2001. I became coordinator for English in the high school department. I learned a lot of things. My skills as a teacher were developed in the high school department under Mrs. Bernabe. Mrs. Bernabe was the pioneer coordinator of the high school department. So who I am now, of course, uh, Mom Emmy uh, have, has helped me a lot to become a better teacher. BPS on its 45 years, I may say, has gone so far. From, I may say, a very simple school, I may say not so known in the community as compared to now has gone so far right now. It's really soaring high in terms of academics, in terms of sports. So with the program of the school, Whole Brain Learning System, it has really developed a total person. Our students are really developed from head to foot, I may say. So of course we owe it to our President, Senator Miki Anil Pasateng, and the rest of the board members and the administrators who have been very loyal to the school. I see that the school has a great vision to educate our youth, to produce leaders in the future, and that is what the school is living up to now. And I take pride that I am part of the institution. So I am proud to be a Delimanian too, just like the team. In behalf of the Philippine Swimming League, we congratulate the Dilma Preparatory School for its 45th anniversary. Uh, we wish the Senator, Senator Cosette good health in running the school and uh, prosperous coming uh, year 2015. Ex more excellence. And uh, we also thank the Senator for helping the Philippine Swimming League. God bless. Diliman Preparatory School. Congratulations, Diliman Preparatory School, for its 45th anniversary. More power to you and God bless. I learn, I love, I grow at Diliman. To Diliman Preparatory School, the school we all love, the school we serve. Happy, happy 45th anniversary. And we look forward to our golden anniversary five years from now, and I am sure the changes that all of us are going to contribute into our 50th year are going to be even more meaningful and more laudable. Congratulations for surviving 45 years with vitality and with excellence.